This is gonna be one of my next projects. Just gonna walk around it before we take it off the trailer. Show you what I'm working with. We're thinking about going black with a gray at the bottom, metallic gray at the bottom. But we ain't really decided 100% yet, but that's the plan. And this car will be for sale once I get done painting it. We're gonna put a motor in it. I'm gonna find out exactly what size motor. But it will be for sale. I think this is a 88 Camara T Top. Z28. Got the 88 Camara off the trailer. Do a little walk around, show you the details of the car before we get started on the body work. It's been a change of plan. Remember, he said he's gonna go black with a gray bottom. He gonna go gray right here and black at the top. Now he going candy green by Uricam. He already purchased the paint, so we're gonna stick with that color. And it's gonna be a gold base gold metallic base with a candy emerald green let me pop the hood I'm going to show you everything it ain't got no motor in it so we're going to be doing all the body work outside most of the work going to be done outside besides like painting and maybe prime but we're going to prime that on the inside but most of the work going to be done outside because I'll be moving it in and out by myself and I can't be doing that but let me take the T-tops off and show you up under the hood. He's going to put a 350 in it, so once I get through painting it, he's going to do the 350. And let me show you this deck lid back here. It looks like it's off track. See, it's kind of sticking out too far. Because I'm going to have to take this off because I see it's trying to rust out up in there. But you can see right here kind of sticking out too far so we'll see if I can adjust that but you can see all the spider webbing on the bumper I'm gonna have to bring all that down and it's a lot of chips here and there then it's a lot of bubbling going on you can't tell because these trees out here giving out for sh uh, shade but you might can see right here all that bubbling so I'm going to have to bring all that down. It's a little dent here. One up here. But let me pop the hood and take these T-tops off. Well, I can show you the inside right now. Dash pad crack. You might want me to fiberglass it. Not sure. Just the inside. Z28. Okay, this is what we got here. We got a three stage candy. We got the base coat, and the base coat he chose was the slick base light sunset gold metallic. Then we got the candy coat, and he chose the eye candy emerald green urethane candy. Then we got the clear coat. He went with the glamour clear coat, it's high silence. And all this by Uricam, as you can see. We got the reduce over here. Then we got the activator. Then they sent some cups and some filters and some stairs. And all the information you need for spraying it. This is the clear coat. This is the base coat. Candy coat. And this is the mid coat. Information. This base coat, it mixes two to one, so that'll be two part 
base one part reducer that's the reducer but you can see all the stuff like the mixing ratio on the side of the can two to one and this candy comes it mixes four to one that will be four part material one part see it show you right here activator and this this right here get reduced the base coat get reduced this get activated so if you mix this and don't use it all you ain't baby uh, store it or use it you have to throw it away so photo one so that'll be both part candy and one part activator and to the clear coat it makes it two to one that'll be two part clear one part activator We're gonna get this battle work started on this command right here. First, we're gonna clean it up, wash it up real good, because we don't want to start sanding and got dirt all over the place. Might sand that dirt into the uh, paint, they have some kind of reaction, so we're gonna clean it up real good first. Since I got everything primed up, I guess I move on to the next step. This paint now my miscellaneous parts. Candy green and some of the parts are gonna be black. Like my door handles and my locks gonna be gloss black. My side skirts, I gotta paint them candy green. And I got a few more things. I just can't recall all of them on hand. But I got them in the booth right now. Oh I got the uh, the T-top piece, you go right here, I'm going to paint it, and uh, what else I got, all oh, the mirrors, just a few more things, but I'll show them to you once I get in the booth, I just had this outside, I had it covered up, just want to move on, so I can go on and knock it on out. taking care of painting all the miscellaneous pieces such as the handles and the side skirts and the deck lid and the t-top piece and some more in the mirrors our next step is taking care of the jams on the car so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take these doors off and I'm gonna take the uh, hood off and I'm gonna take that in the booth and paint that then once I get through painting them I pull the car in the booth and paint the jams on the car so let me go ahead and take these doors and hood off, then I'll cut you back on.
I done finished painting the doors itself, the jams on the doors. Now I gotta do the extra car jams. And at the same time, I'll be spraying this engine bay. It's going candy green also. But I gotta clean it up before I do anything. See all them wires everywhere. And I'm gonna take the dry out. Everything that I can remove pretty easy, I remove it so I have room to spray. I don't know what's all this here. But I'm gonna try to clean it up best as I can. Get rid of this cruise control. Ain't going with that. It will be putting an LS in here once I finish. So I'm gonna try to clean it up for them. Get these heater hoses out the way. Once I clean it up, I wash everything before I put it in the booth. So let me get started on that. Just pulled the OBS out the booth. I finished up with the jams. And also, I really got both vehicles ready to paint. I just gotta wet sand them and shoot the outside of them. Cause everything else done. But I'm gonna tackle these wheels because just want me to paint these wheels candy green. I'm just gonna paint this area here. Candy green. Then I might do the Dash. I might five glass dash because it's cracked. But I'm not sure on that right now. But I know I'm gonna go ahead and paint these wheels, so let me take them off and then we'll cut you back on. All right, in this video, we're going to tackle that dash there. In the last episode of the Camaro, we painted the wheels. That's why the wheels ain't on. But we're going to tackle this dash here. You can see it's cracked up. So we're going to take it out and take it on the inside and see what we can do with it.
got another project for the Camara. I'm going to paint the valve covers. Also, this intake. It's the Fast IHS LSX RT102. I'll be painting this candy green. Also, the valve covers candy green. We're going to clean them up. But first, we're going to take this apart. So we be able to get to it and sand everything down real good because I started seeing right here where somebody else tried to paint it and they didn't prep it good enough and the paint just chipping up like a blue on it and the paint is just fly off of it. Let's see if I can show you. So we just going take everything apart then we'll sand it down get it ready for paint It's been a while since I did anything to the Camara, but today we're going to jump back head first into it. I've been trying to clean the booth out so I can bring it in and start spraying it. Because I had a lot of mess in here. I didn't clean most of it up. I just mainly got to sweep the floors and blow everything down. Then I get started on the Camara. Here's the Camara. It's been sitting outside. I had it covered up, but it's still nasty. I also took the forges off after I had painted them. I'm going to put them back on once I paint the car. Got footprints from the kit climbing up in it. Also, I had to put the spare on up here because this tire here, it wouldn't hold no air. Before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and wash it up. Cause I don't want to start wet sanding all this dirt and debris still on the car. So let me clean it up, then I'll cut you back on. flow coating the Camara it's been about five days since I painted it I painted it Wednesday today Monday it's good and hard now which I could have started sanding on it before then but I've been waiting on some stuff to come in I got the IROC Z just going on the doors I'm waiting on some pinstripe to come in so I can do this pinstripe along the side skirts all the way around we're gonna do that we're gonna bury that and clear 
Plus we're gonna black this here out with black paint. I got the paint here. It's super jet black by Uricam. I'm not gonna use that whole gallon. I got it for something else, but I'm gonna use some of it to do this. And what else we gonna do? Mainly this video here is for us. It's for flow coating, but while I'm flow coating, I can bury all that and clear at the same time. So let me get my material for us, bucket of water and some sandpaper, then I'll cut you back on. Today we'll jump on the T-Tops. I gotta put the weather stripping in. Well, I got all the weather stripping. I got the T-Top weather stripping, the doors, and the hatch. Also got the window sweeps, outer and inner. I got it installed. Got them all over here. Also got a few more things, but mainly we're gonna concentrate on this weather stripping and getting these T-Tops back in. So I can seal it up, then I can take it back outside. But I need to unmask it first. So let's go ahead and do that. Today we'll be cutting and buffing. Just pulled the car back on the inside. We're not pulled, pushed it. Because it doesn't have a motor in it at the time. We're gonna go LS once I get finished with everything. But I sprayed it off before I brought it in. Because it was sitting outside and it had dust had fell on it. And you don't want to start sanding it with dust on it because you could put deeper scratches in there. Then you'll have to buff those scratches out. So you wanna make sure it's good and clean. Lights and lenses I'll be restoring. Tail lights here. They're not that bad. They're just nasty. The worst one is this. These two here. It looks like a lot of the 
dirt is on the inside, so I'm gonna try to clean up the inside. Just the third brake light going to spoil these side markers. Guess we'll take them outside and clean them up first before we do anything. Swap coming next. Stay tuned. Mm-hmm.